Hello everyone, it's Cisco Labs, and I'm back yet again, playing Modern Skyblock 3. In between episodes, I did a fair amount, so let's take a look and get ready right to it. Uh, I did a bunch of crafting, it's in that crate there, you're not allowed to see, ever. No, we'll get to that in a couple minutes. Uh, over here, I created the, I guess it's the, um, which one here? The condenser. I have it kind of pulled up here. Endstone combustion heater. No, I did not make that. I made the endstone condenser. There we go, that's the one I made. Wasn't too bad, actually. I thought this was going to be expensive, and people kept telling me to make it. Yeah, just take some enderpearl, some blocks, some bone blocks, some nether quartz, some sugar, some dorite, which is a stone and quartz. And, uh, yeah, not too bad at all. And this thing gives you 660% speed and another 660% efficiency on top of whatever your casing is. So, yeah, our efficiency is at 858. These things just pump out resources. Like, just pump out. You can see how tiny that uh, bar is kind of going down each time that kind of goes through the process which is utterly insane and uh yeah pretty sweet i like it <laughs> pretty fantastic uh on top of that what else do i do here this the mob farm uh i got rid of the spikes and i switched these just because they look cool it's the only reason there's no valid reason other than this looks cool these are called decorative coils and uh they are from factory tech and um uh, they're they're decorative blocks that you can link up. So if I take my monkey wrench, shift right click on one, then right click on the next, uh, it links it up. And uh, they get to kind of the, the electric, you know, Tesla coil kind of pulse between it. And uh, yeah, damages mobs. So <laughs> we don't get XP, which I didn't really want the XP from the farm anyway. But uh, it just looks neat and uh, I like it. So anyway, definitely a thing. Iteration Funk was actually the one that told me about those blocks. I had no clue about their existence. Um, what else did I do? Here, bam. Uh, no. <laughs> here, bam. There we go. In here, I added two more recharge to my chaos gem and uh, four capacity. So this thing actually holds six million chaos now and uh, recharges at a real good rate when I land. So, yeah, I don't have to worry about flight pretty much at all anymore. So that's pretty fantastic. Uh, I didn't do anything with oil. I think everything else is crafting. So we might as well get to that. Uh, what we're going to get to is some magnetic craft, because two multi-blocks were added, and I want to try them out. So I have a whole lot of stuff here. I did take these into creative real quick, because, well, these are new. You never know if it's going to break things, right? So I wanted to at least try it out first. Uh, I should uh, get rid of half of this stuff, right? We don't need all this jazz at all. I might actually need you. I don't need you. And where's my drill? Right there. There we go. That should be everything we need. Uh, so, the Mag Magnetic Craft does have a book. So, if you go in here, you can see it's just a magnet. Not too big a deal. Go in here, go to Multi Blocks, and you'll see there is a well, shelving unit. I'd like to try that one too. Uh, the grinder and the sieve. So, the grinder is actually not too bad. It takes a lot of blocks, but uh, it was mostly plates. So, I spent a lot of time at the crushing table making plates because the plates for this mod are kind of specific to the mod, they're not ore addicted. So, you have to make the plates with the mod. Otherwise, I would have just kind of used the immersive hammer. But if you look at, say, this, uh, which one? The machine block. You'll see it takes three le three light plates, three light lead plates. It's just a lot of work. That's a crushing table. Um, but yeah, I did get through all that. We're going to actually grab all of this stuff. So let's grab that. You also need to make these blueprints. So this is the one for the grinder. This one's for the sieve. And, uh, each one has their own recipe. So not too big a deal, but they have to be done. Oh, can you guys not bother me? Really? Take care of you. Guess I'll fight this guy because he's too close to the roof. And okay, we're gonna set these up. We're gonna do them in a fairly kind of particular way, just so we can automate them really easy. So I was kind of go one, two, three, four, five, five right there. Kind of start it. And I'm probably gonna build a little pillar here, a four blocks tall, which is kind of what I'm thinking here. So well, let's do that. Won't make any sense at first, but it will. Kind of when I'm done. It's just gonna make our lives easier. This thing is going to fully allow us to pretty much completely automate ore. So, yeah, the ore processing, I should say. But, uh, yeah, definitely a thing. Going to grab this grinder here. Going to put it there. And that actually gives us the multi-block shape. So, we can actually see the multi-block. Gives us ghost blocks. We can kind of do our thing now. Kind of get it all built. Really easy. All willy-nilly. Not have to worry about it too much. Let's do that. Bam. Um, this mod does have its own power source, too. It's electricity, which is uh, kind of neat. But, uh, very easy, too. We don't actually really have to do much. We're actually just going to use wind turbines. 
because it doesn't seem to tank a ton of power to kind of deal with this. You... Oh, I need enter utilities so bad. Oh, not enter utilities, extra utilities. I am so just done with Enderbin. <laughs> They've taken over my base. They've taken it over. I don't even live here anymore. I feel like I've been evicted. They're just the Enderman everywhere, all the time. Anyway, <laughs> definitely a thing. Let's go here. Let's get this done. Get this built. And work towards maybe getting rid of Enderman. <laughs> They're driving me crazy. Anyway, let's do this. Bam, bam. And uh, grab some of the striped machine blocks. There we go. And put those there. And that'll handle that. When you got your multi-block built, you just right-click onto the block, and boom. Look at that. That is a pretty-looking multi-block. I really like that. Looks pretty fantastic, and uh, that's what we're going to work with here. So, if you right-click on this, you'll have a bar for voltage, wattage, and uh, processing. This is where what your processing goes, and you got two output slots. One is for the byproduct, which I think is pretty much gravel, and then the, your, uh, I guess it's rocky iron chunks, or whatever kind of chunks they are. Um... The voltage and the wattage. It kind of tells you about that in the book. There's a whole section about it. Um, but it doesn't matter for us because we are just using one power source. And it has it says something about efficiency between the voltage and the wattage. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to use the <laughs> one power source and can just kind of call it a day. Because, uh, yeah, just it's the way I'm doing it. What we're going to use is actually these wind turbines for these meshes. Um, some more iron plates and a machine block. Not too big a deal. And, uh, we're just going to put that there. And that should automatically form a multi-block, just like that. That is actually really cool, the way that works. These are actually solid blocks. You can't actually go through them. It's actually a 9 by 9 I believe. Which is pretty cool. And uh, we're going to grab some of this and some of this. There we go. Bam, because we do need to get these linked up to power. And uh, the way you do that is just put an electric connector right there. Then one on this little dot here. This is actually the power input. Grab one of these copper coils, and it works just like immersive wires. So shift, right click, and right click, and boom. Now that thing, if we right click on it, we'll see that the voltage is going up, which is fantastic. We won't actually see the wattage until you put an item in there, uh, which happens to be through the top. So let's do that real quick. Bam and bam. Let's head over here. Let's grab a hopper and an interlink chest. Did wonky things. Anyway, not going to worry about that. So we can pipe items through there, which is actually pretty cool. Let's go grab a couple of those ores. Actually, let's grab one of each. Because I am going to kind of have to filter these. Because we don't have a lot of options right now. So I'm just going to kind of go like this, like that. And what did I do with the third one? Oh, it already went in the machine. <laughs> Won't worry about it. Won't be able to do the others until it kind of goes through. But uh, that handles that. That'll be kind of how we input items. I can put this other chest over where we actually create our ores. Kind of do it that way. I'm also going to use two ender pearls on this chest. Boom, boom. Oops, maybe. There we go. You see the capacity increased to 27. If it'll let me actually go in here. What is going on? I think that totally glitched it picking it up. There we go. There we go. Awesome. I almost want to remove that mod that is making it so we pick up things, but I don't know what does it. Because it seems to glitch a lot of blocks. There seems to be issues with it. Keep meaning to bug report it and haven't got to it. But anyway, that is the uh, way that works. The last thing is, this is the output. This is where the ores come out. It'll actually export directly to an inventory. So yeah, you can just uh, throw that. Maybe not there. It has to actually go one lower. And bam. There we go. That'll pull that. You see you're getting an iron rocky chunk. Get our copper, and uh, we'll get one for tin as well. So that is pretty cool. So the next thing we need to do is actually build sieve. So let's get to that. So the sieve is pretty cool as well. And this one actually looks cooler. This one just looks awesome, actually. Let's, uh, boom. There we go. I'm going to put it right there, because we're going to be able to pipe the item straight down, I believe. Uh, actually, do I want to do it like this? I think I do. I'm thinking... Oh no, I actually want to have it one higher. That's what I was thinking. Yes, because this thing actually outputs its items to like inventory slots down the bottom. And I was actually going to have a floating one. I just couldn't remember the mindset that I was using. And I kind of laid this out. So let's do that. Boom. Yeah, it'll go like this. Because uh, we're going to have crates or hoppers down here to actually 
uh, catch the items. So let's do that. And uh, find out what we need here. So we need machine blocks. So let's grab a bunch of those. Go one, two, four, five. And then what are those ones? Those are these, these corrugated irons. Need four of those. Oh, I didn't mention too, these things took tungsten. I actually had to make tungsten. That was actually just obsidian and gold. That's all that was. Uh, sorry, obsidian and glowstone. And, uh, yeah, in the combustion heater. Not too big a deal. Anyway, that's that. Then I think we need some of these ones, the support columns. Need three of those on each side. One, two, three. Then a whole bunch of these iron grates. Why do I feel like I missed one? Nope, that's right. And are those just machine blocks there? I think, no, actually I think it was like this, right? That, that, then two machine blocks. There we go. And I suppose I'm gonna have to break this for a second because I need to be able to right click on that. Okay, it's seeing something wrong. I might have to rebuild this. What did I put wrong? Found support call, what? What is that? Found support column, expected support column. I wonder if it doesn't like the fact that I didn't put any blocks under it. Let's try that real quick. Maybe maybe it's just looking for a floor under it? Maybe I can break it afterwards. <laughs> nope. It's not that. Did not like these uh, support columns here. Let's try that again. I only have two. I would like to have three. Can these get placed in a direction? Ah, I see the problem already. Ah, so that is uh, actually an issue that uh, might want to be brought up to the div. Because it looks like they want to be placed up and down. Yes, and I had them placed sideways. Okay, I'll have to actually report that. But anyway, we're going to break all these now. Boom, there we go. Don't need any of those. And anyway, this is a sieve, and it looks really cool. I think this actually looks like an awesome little multi-block. The only problem with it is when it runs, it doesn't actually use water at all, which, uh, you know, a sieve or a sieve. Actually, it doesn't matter which way I say that. You guys get mad at me whether I say sieve or sieve. So, yeah, and I always get linked to ways to, to actually pronounce the word. I've even had people kind of paste the dictionary thing at me. And it, it doesn't matter which way I say it, I get yelled at. So I, I kind of give up. But anyway, <laughs> this thing takes voltage as well. We'll have to give that power. That's not a big deal. I'm going to grab, let's see here, a wind turbine. Go over here. Go over there. Go it that way. It's just so we can keep it lined up. This one actually has two connectors on the back of it, for whatever reason. It doesn't seem to matter. I've only given it a one when in the test world it seemed to work fine. But I just want to show kind of functionality of these uh, connectors here where we can do this. So we can shift right click, right? Then we can right click and right click. All the connectors act like relays. I don't know how many connections they can have, but yeah, we don't have to have a separate relay to kind of manage that. There is electric poles that you can make, and I actually made one in case we needed it, because I wasn't really sure. But uh, yeah, you definitely don't have to use one. And it's the same as immersive wires, so as soon as you place the wire, you can kind of build kind of over the wire. It doesn't hurt the wire at all whatsoever. Kind of way of getting it through walls. So they really kind of stole some concepts from immersive there. Unless it's the same dev, I really don't know. <laughs> but anyway, let's do that. And do that. So this is going to be, you see there's kind of these little kind of, you know, little bits here. This is where the items actually export here. Because this one actually has three output slots. And that's just kind of how that works. So we're going to kind of do it like that. Actually, we weren't going to do it like that. Let's actually fix all of this. Did I lose one of my crates? Give me it. There we go. Making a mess. We might as well bring those one more forward and uh, just use wooden hoppers because that would be even better, right? Yes, just like that. There we go. Clean this up as much as possible. And that is almost automated ores. Like, just like that. Don't like that block. I'm going to have to change those blocks. Anyway, <laughs> let's go here. Bam. We're going to grab this pretty much as our last item. This is a filtered stack mover. Oh, we also need a redstone clock, I suppose. So stack mover and a redstone clock. Uh, we're going to throw that puppy right there. Then we're going to get it rotated the right way. 
which is that arrow is pointing up, the arrow is pointing down. That's the way we want it. We're going to grab these things here, where the chunks, and we're actually going to filter all those. So they're filtered now. It does keep one of them in the filter for whatever reason, but anyway, they're filtered. And, uh, yeah, should be able to make it so we can just pump items in there now. And I will have to kind of filter each individual item, but it's the only way to kind of probably the deal with gravel really easy right now. Uh, I can come and do that with extra utilities later on, but we have to get to that point. And uh, that should automate that. Let's see here. Nothing's happened. Which one is that? Tin? Did I not have tin in the filter? Oh, I forgot. I grabbed the redstone clock. The only thing about these uh, filter stack movers, and I didn't actually show the recipe on those, because those are actually from Factory Tech. Uh, filter stack mover. You need to make a stack mover. Boom, boom. Not a big deal there. Um, the only thing about these things is they need a constant redstone pulse. So we're just going to throw that right there. Then the item should actually start moving, I believe. Maybe? What, what do I have wrong here? And okay, I came back and I guess kind of broke the filter stack mover and replaced it. It seems to be working fine now. I'm actually not going to put a filter in it at all. Now that I know I can just get gravel out of this. No, sorry. I could process the gravel. So you can just get flint. Then I just don't even have to think about it, right? So I'm just going to let it do its thing. And uh, just leave it like that. And the items will export down here. They kind of sort themselves, which is kind of fantastic. So we've got aluminum in here. We've got iron and nickel dust in here as byproducts. And uh, we've got flint, tin, and uh, iron chunks here. So the last step I really need to do is actually just send this automatically to a smelting, you know, area. But uh, I'm not really going to worry about that right now. The ore processing itself is actually pretty fantastic. I forgot to mention this thing too. I'm not really sure what this does, this side here. I don't know if this is for computer craft or just like a redstone lever. I haven't actually tested it, which uh, I probably could do. Let's actually test the lever really quick so I can actually eliminate that. Because in the book, it does have a whole section about uh, computers and all that stuff, right? So I'm guessing that it's going to be for that, but uh, we might as well eliminate the whole you know, possibility here. Because I don't think it said anything in the actual write-up for the mod, or in the book, I should say, for the multi-block. Let's go here, bam, grab ourselves a lever, and uh, see if we can just turn that thing off there. Uh, the sieve doesn't seem to have one, so yeah, I'm not really sure. Let's go over here. Boom, throw you there. Did that turn you off? Absolutely not. So my guess, that is for computer craft. <laughs> it's probably a redstone port. Anyway, that is that. That is pretty much our ore automation. That's what I'm going to use for a while because that is simple. It's kind of, it's large. Yes, it's large, but it's really cool looking. <laughs> it's compartmentalized and it's on its own power system. I don't even have to worry about it. I can just pipe items in here and I don't even need to use a filter. I could have just used a regular stack mover. So yeah, definitely a thing. And uh, pretty cool. I think this is a pretty cool little setup here. I really like these multi-blocks. So I don't like all the stone. I'm going to have to change this. And okay, the next thing I want to get to here is actually down here, the power of the stars. I want to get into Astro Sorcery. The only reason I really want to get into this mod is because once we get to here and get the tomb, it will unlock extra utilities. And uh, it actually takes a combination of this this one here, so Astro Sorcery and Ashley Additions to get the extra utilities, which is going to give us transfer nodes and enter tethers. So yeah, something I definitely want to get to because uh, yeah, <laughs> I just want that stuff. I want it really bad, like really bad. But anyway. We're going to get to this. We're going to have to make some rock crystals and some floating crystals. So that isn't too big a deal, I don't think. Let's go to rock crystal. Because they did add some custom recipes here. So in the power, take some minori and some stone. So let's grab a stack of iron and uh, get that zapped, I suppose. Turn that into nori. Bam. Let's grab that. And some stone. I guess we'll need 16 if we're going to do this many. We'll just get a whole bunch to kind of get that done. I'm pretty sure you can make the floating crystals just by throwing them through a reconstructor as well for a large amount of RF. So that's definitely a thing. I totally ran away from my area. Not a big deal. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's get this kind of split up. Bam. And just get the stuff in the hoppers. And call that a day. There we go. Don't know how much RF this recipe here takes. Don't know if it takes a ton or not. Doesn't look too bad. Well, actually, looks pretty low. That's pretty sweet. But we're going to take one of these, these rock crystals. You usually have to dig down the bedrock, regular world gen, to get these. So this is actually a really easy way to get them. 
And, uh, yeah, I should be able to take that, throw that there. Get ourselves a floating crystal as well. Grab a couple more, let that do its thing, kind of move on. Uh, I think the next thing we actually need to do, go to here, go to Power of the Stars, check that out, and boom, we need a linking tool. We actually need one of these crystals to do it, so that's kind of why we had to do that. Let's go to linking, bam, bam. These linking tools actually link up these rock crystals um, to kind of the tables, you know what I mean, to power them. They're basically generators. Just think of them as generators. Anyway, the crystals, anyway. Anyway, that's that, and that's that. Uh, the next thing we're going to need here, I'm thinking, let's go to here, let's go to quest, let's go to Power of the Stars. We need our luminous crafting table. Um, usually you can look into the journal and kind of look at this recipe. Uh, it tells you to look at the recipe of the journal. I don't know where my journal went. I have no idea. I've lost it. So I'm just going to go and make it because I'm pretty sure I know how to. Uh, let's go and grab. Actually, I can't make it. Uh-oh. I have a problem. Let's go to Astral. Because I need parchment, don't I? I don't think I can make my journal. I've lost my journal. I have no clue how I'm going to do this. So it takes Aquamarine, which the um, Silent Gem ones are kind of um, ordicted. A book and parchment. But I can't make parchment because I, I don't have a Luminous Crafting Table. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll try one thing here. Let's uh, do this here. Because this is usually how you craft the luminous. I'm going to see if this actually works out. Let's do that. Bam. Grab that. Throw that there. Boom. I need to get this somewhere out. Kind of under the moon and the stars and all that jazz. Under the stars, under the sky. That's kind of the idea I was talking about. We're going to shift right click that. Right click the table. And this is usually where you would craft your luminous. So I'm going to see if it's going to let me do the parchment here, because if so, I can do the journal. So paper, try for paper. I can't see it working though, but worth a try. If not, I may have to load one in the game, because I literally don't have one. I was actually looking at it at one point. Ah, oh, it did let us do it. Sweet. I do not have to load it in. Anyway, that in a book. So let's go grab a book. We're going to need a piece of leather and three paper. There we go. Bam. And there we go. Pretty sweet. Nice little workaround. Take that. And yeah, don't be like me. Don't lose your stuff. <laughs> Paper. Oh, that's if it lets me craft this in here. Let's do that. The book kind of unlocks everything, so it's actually really important to have. Like, really important to have. It kind of is the main kind of control point for the mod. There we go. We have our Astro Tome. And we should be able to open that up now. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so I have these in here, and I want to grab them. These are my constellation papers. These are the ones I found in loot bags. I'm going to go shift right click. I'm actually going to throw those in there. Keep them stored. Oh, there's nothing on that one. So I'll throw that one there. And there we go. Got a good start there. So we have a book now. So we can actually go in here and go to discovery, I suppose. Come in here. And we should see... That there, a luminous crafting table is six marble, sodium marble, and a crafting table. Okay, so the marble, I believe, is dorite and quartz. So let's go to marble, bam, go here. Oh, we could just do polished dorite. I thought I saw, oh yeah, because you gotta make dorite first. I already knew this. Yes, quartz and cobblestone. Okay, quartz and cobblestone, that's what it is. Let's grab. Might as well do like two stacks because we're going to need much more than that probably going through the mod. So, might as well just get done now. Bam. Here, 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 here. There we go. There's one stack. Well, there's two stacks apparently. And uh, hopefully that doesn't take much RF. What? Really? Marble? Oh, it has to be polished. So, polished is just. Is this polished? Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Okay, that makes more sense. I was all confused for a second. There we go. We got our marble. Did we get it all? No, it takes a fair amount of RF. Well, that's all necessary. Why would you make that take a bar amount of RF? Anyway. <laughs> I'll have to be doing that a bunch of times, apparently. But that's enough to get us going anyway. So the sooty marble is just this. We'll need that. And a piece of coal. There we go. 
That'll give us our sooty. We're gonna need tons of that on time anyway as well. That's pretty cool. And uh, I think we can actually just craft our table now. Well, if we actually grab a uh, crafting grid. Where is my wood? None there. Boom. Bam and bam. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Let's grab a crafting table. And I'll call this a day. Finally, we'll have our luminous. So it's this, that, and I believe this, right? There we go. We finally have the crafting table, which is actually fantastic. You can see there, learn more about exploration, which is kind of a new page in the tome. So that is pretty cool and pretty sweet. So bam, let's go here, go to quest, go to quest book, let's go to power of the stars, I suppose. What else does it need here? What's the luminous? I have that. What else did it want? Oh, the resonating wand, which I actually need to make in the table. So I guess I'm going to link that to that. There we go. And look at the resonating wand, because I completely forget what that is. Resonating wand is two marble, two aquamarine, and ender pearl. So let's grab an ender pearl. I'm trying to get this fast, because we only have so much nighttime. You have to do the bulk of the stuff in the nighttime in this mod until you have a whole bunch of power. Why does this have no power? Is this not actually linked? There's like no power here. What's up with that? I've never seen zero power. <laughs> Usually there's a white bar at the bottom of the table, kind of depicting how much power it has. There we go. That one has a little bit. Resonating. That might be enough. We'll see. There we go. Two of those and an inner pearl, right? Not enough. Let's see if we can kind of give it more with the floating crystal, right? So let's do that. Let's do that. Maybe. Yeah, that didn't give it any more power. We may need to go real higher. I, Cause I thought this gave them, I thought these gave it power. I've never had to do it this way. It's a little different with Skyblock. So I'm a little, a little, little, little confused here. Let's try this. Let's put that there. Let's grab a floating gem. Let's throw that there. Let's link that to that. Let's see if we can craft that in here. So see if that works here. You can. Okay, that explains everything. Because otherwise we didn't have enough power. <laughs> and you need, you need to use the wand to actually craft in those tables. So I was totally confused. But anyway, that gives us our quest. Bam. Let's go to Power of the Stars. And uh, we got a good start here. So we need the light well next. And uh, what else do we need here? We need the star metal. Let's actually work on star metal real quick. Let's grab that, grab that. We're just going to bring this stuff with us. And, uh, we need to make star metal, so we need... Do we want to automate this? I think we do. So let's go to... We're going to need some redstone. Let's grab some stuff. I need some... Uh, a block breaker. So let's grab that and that. And we're going to need some cobble. And I want to make a scanner, so we're going to need some redstone. There we go. Bam. Grab that jazz. And uh, see if we can get this done. Go to scanner. Uh, we need a dropper, so I'll handle that. Gonna need a spider eye. And that should handle the scanner. Fantastic. And we also need a breaker. Breaker, I'd rather use this one, so we'll go with that one. We'll need some gold if we do that one though, so let's grab that. Let's see if we can get this done. Looks pretty sweet. Oh, I need a black quartz. If I was a black quartz, I would hang out right there. Sweet. There we go. That should handle that. Uh, let's go back step. Grab that. And that should be everything we need to automate that. It's going to be very slow during the daytime. But uh, we should be able to automate it nonetheless. Let's just do it over here. It needs to have access to the sky. That's fine. Let's grab a auto breaker. Throw that there, I suppose. Actually, we'll do the auto breaker later. Let's do... I suppose the scanner, throw that right there. A uh, piece of iron ore, grab that. Then we're going to need a floating crystal, throw that there. Grab this linking tool, right click it. Just starting this little laser at that. I thought that gave particles if it was working. Let's go in here for a sec. Here, exploration. 
I don't know if it where it tells you that in the book about star metal. Actually, it seems like it's awful early to be given a star metal. Some of the stuff, I don't know if it works if you don't have it unlocked in the book. So we may have to progress a little further. Um, to unlock the next part of the book, we would need... Is it the Fossic? Spectral? No, no. Definitely a light well. Oh, there. It'd be the Starlight Crafting Altar. It's just going to require a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. I think I may wrap this one up here. So this is usually how you make star metal, but usually there's a particle effect. And um, I don't know if you could do it this early in the mod. Like, I think you actually have to progress more to be able to straight up to make that. I guess I'll leave it and kind of see if it uh, transforms. But I think I ran into this issue before, once before, where I kind of got stuff early, wasn't able to make it. But uh, I could be wrong there, I guess. I guess we'll see. Because, uh, yeah, that should be working. The only way I'm going to automate this anyways, I'm going to set it to scan star metal once it sees it and just put a redstone torch on the side of this and power that. Set it to, well, it is on deactivation. Kind of the same way we did our oil yesterday. And that'll just automate that. <laughs> I just need a block placer after that point and I'd call that a day. It'd be fully automated. But uh, yeah, I am going to wrap this one up here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is much appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.